but in um, the game against the Monarch engine, D3 wasn't played. I'm just um, showing you to uh, make you aware of the dangers of the Moral Gambit uh, when played improperly. Um, white plays um, Pawn takes Pawn instead. Okay. And this allows Black to play D4, attacking the Knight. Notice that there don't seem to be any good squares for the knight to develop to, other than um, the g1 square. So the engine plays to um, g1, but actually, um, if one knows the lines, knight to d4 is playable and probably the best move, although it um, seems to um, lose the knight. But after knight takes knight, Black can play queen to uh, white can play queen to h5 check. Now if g6, uh, white can play pawn takes pawn with a um, discovered uh, attack on the rook and uh, a check. So if knight to f6, probably the best defense. Um, white can play g7 check. Knight takes queen, pawn takes uh, rook, promoting to the queen. Already we can see that um, black has attacks on h7 and um, d4. So this is uh, winning for white. Alternatively, um, white can hunt the king with bishop to um, f7 check king to e7 and then queen to c5 check which will win the knight so that's also possible and after um, the further trade down pawn takes pawn and bishop takes pawn we can see that black has lost a lot of pawns and uh, now has a losing game so let's take it back Pawn to e4 was played. The engine didn't find uh, the d4 move and retreats to g1. And now I play queen to h5. And this attacks both the pawn on f5 and the pawn on uh, g2 with an attack on the rook. Again, white doesn't find the best defense. White plays g4, which looks logical. Now the pawn is protected. So is the other pawn. But um, perhaps best for white would have been to play d3 again, attacking the queen. Which would have led to um, queen takes pawn, attacking the rook. But then again, white can exploit the weak f7 square. Queen h5 check, king to d8, queen to g5 check with a fork. Queen takes. Bishop recaptures, bishop to e7, take take, and then pawn takes uh, pawn on e4. So in this more complex variation, we can see that most material has been traded down and white is up a pawn. Um, but white has doubled pawns and the situation is more or less equal with drawing chances for black. but probably the best continuation for white. Thankfully this combination wasn't found. White plays g4. I play knight to f6, immediately trying to add more pressure to the pawn on g4. White retreats the bishop to protect. And now black may have some issues if white decides to start chasing the queen. So if for instance a6 is played, a random move, white can play pawn to h4 attacking the queen with little um, places for the queen to escape to. So I play queen to h4 instead and this move does um, a few things. It prevents white from uh, attacking the queen immediately h4 is no longer possible. 
notice that this knight can no longer develop because all squares are now covered this pawn cannot move because of the check and because um, the knight cannot move this rook is trapped as well on h1 so queen to h4 is a solid move by black white rise d4 to break through in the center I play h5 looking to uh, attack the pawn on g4 and break through and now white could play pawn takes pawn but then we see both pawns uh, which are both doubled and isolated pawns will become lost and impossible to defend so um, after d5 black can simply recapture and have a huge edge in development with strong attacks uh, against white's king so white doesn't bother wasting time uh, to exchange the pawns that are uh, lost anyways and he shouldn't and he tries knight to c3 instead to um, create attacks of his own so I take his pawn and now knight to b5 and clearly white is looking to play knight takes c7 with a fork so I play knight to d5 a move that prevents the capture of c7 notice that um, playing c4 to get rid of the knight is a bad idea because of um, this knight not only covers c7 it also covers uh, e3 so if c4 is played black can play e3 looking to play queen takes f2 check and mate and if the bishop captures the pawn to prevent it the knight can take on the bishop threatening the queen notice that white can still do an attack on uh, c7 now but after the queen moves to safety to d3 I can play bishop to b4 check and now there's only one defense left for um, white and that's uh, to retreat the knight on c3 to prevent the check and notice we are a minor piece up but actually it isn't so because um, this knight cannot be put into safety because uh, this knight is currently under attack but um, all escape squares were um, being covered except for um, g2 but if knight to g2 check king to f1 again we can see that this knight has no place to flee to and the knight is lost so after a um, knight to f4 queen e4 check and white will recapture his material best is not to um, save the knight but grab an extra pawn knight takes pawn after which um, queen recaptures then d6 will attack the pawn on f5 the queen is attacking the pawn on f2 which will prevent um, white from castling and um, it will be impossible for white to keep defending these pawns so if um, bishop to d3 just an example to try and protect the pawn black can play rook to f8 adding even more pressure and if queen to d5 adding another defender I can play g6 to add another attacker on the pawn and of course the pawn cannot be recaptured or um, I can capture the pawn on f2 with a dangerous attack and I can grab the other pawn on b2 threatening the rook so in this position white will be lost so c4 to kick away the knight is a bad idea uh, to play immediately for white instead white plays bishop takes pawn on g4 and of course um, the bishop is protected by the queen 
but also we're noticing um, e2 has become available for the king or queen to move to and this, this is important because this changes the character of the defense of c4 um, I'm allowed an additional move so I play a6 trying to kick away the knight and white now plays c4 and instead of playing e3 which is still possible and winning for black, black uh, white now has additional defenses for instance um, queen to e2 which was not available uh, before that which will lead to queen takes pawn queen takes queen pawn takes queen check king takes pawn pawn takes knight pawn takes knight and knight recaptures the pawn on d4 so this is a, a trade down until the end game and this should be won by black because white has uh, doubled and isolated pawns so that's def definitely a, a possible continuation for black but um, this wasn't played after the c4 move I play knight to f6 instead targeting the bishop and also still attacking the pawn but abandoning protection of c7 black takes the pawn on c7 check king to d8 knight takes rook and I could recapture um, the knight the bishop immediately when I play an in-between move bishop to b4 check notice that um, bishop to d2 to block this um, does not work because of e3 and now the king has two pins and there's a pawn attacking the bishop on d2 so white plays king to um, f1 instead so I take on the bishop on g4 bishop to e3 to prevent the mate knight takes bishop pawn takes knight and rook to f8 and we can see mate threats beginning knight to f3 um, the engine is beginning desperation moves now this tries to chase away the queen but of course um, the knight can be recaptured immediately by the pawn this however will create um, uh, obstruction on f3 uh, for the check so best is simply to take the pawn and pin the knight white tries h3 there are simply no good moves left rook takes knight check queen captures rook pawn takes queen and uh, the queen and pawn will be enough to um, force a mate or um, to make white lose the rooks knight to b6 queen g3 rook g1 queen g2 looking for the mate on e2 rook takes pawn queen to e2 check king mo moves to uh, g1 f2 check king moves to h1 f1 promoting to a queen check rook takes queen queen takes rook check king to g2 and at the end the final piece is needed for the mate bishop to a d6 check rook to g3 queen to f2 check king to h1 and bishop takes rook with um, a mate in one move white um, captures uh, the bishop on c8 and queen to f1 finishes the game so that was my game playing the Russo gambit and analyzing it I have mixed feelings about the gambit and it should work against people that don't know the lines and against um, lower rated engines but I wouldn't play it against um, the higher rated engines or um, um, grandmasters or um, international master play so thanks for watching and have a great evening